Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we're going to talk about some of the cool new filaments that I got recently. Stay tuned. So I got a whole bunch of new filaments today. Well, over the last week or so. Um, I finally got to try out the new 3D Solutech Ultra PLA. That's that ultra shiny silky PLA in purple. It is amazing. I really like this color. It's good. They also have a new one, a black Ultra PLA, so that'll be coming soon. Um, Atomic Filaments has got some new um, colors. I got this one, dark as night black. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool looking. I'm looking forward to trying to print something with that. And another roll I can't show you because it's actively printing right now. Um, they're ultra bright green UV reactive neon green semi-silk filament look at that green oh I love that and it's really vibrant on the UV light too it shines up like a glow stick very very cool I freaking love this green you're gonna love the print that I make out of this um, they also had a new blue a silky blue that I got that I absolutely love gorgeous gorgeous blue I'm also working on a project with the gnomes from Protopasta. Sorry, Protopasta. I know it's not Protopasta, but um, I'm using the cheaper filament to make the experiments because I'm going to make a giant one of these. And here's a 300% upscale. Next up is a 2P 600%, and then I will decide on the best approach to a 1,000 and possibly a 2,000% upscale of this. Just to, why not? <laughs> that, those will be in Protopasta, of course. Uh, also got the new maker box in this month. I love my maker box. It's just fun. I mean, I, I I've got dozens of them lying around here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a mega episode one day and just show you all the different ones I've got. I've got dozens and dozens of them that I still haven't printed yet. Just haven't got around to it. But I love the idea of having access to so many unique filaments. So they have a color fab wood fill. It's actually a, a pretty nice color. It's not abrasive. It says 30% recycled wood fiber, 70% PLA. And um, that's pretty cool. Should be stainable since it has wood fibers in it. Then they have a Breathe 3DP PLA++. Apparently it's a modified PLA that has more toughness. So you can use it for more mechanical parts. You know, parts that actually do work. So that'll be interesting to play with that. And I love the blue. This PETG is gorgeous. I don't think it was intended to be metallic, but it appears to have a metallic sheen. This is from KVP. Uh, what is that? A village Plastic. Keen Village Plastics, looks like. It's hard to read on the sticker here. But it's a glycol-modified filament. Um, but it's a, a polyethylene terephthalate, a uh, PET. And, well, I guess the glycol is the G. <laughs> PETG. But that is a really beautiful color. It's got like a metallic um, purple vibe going for it. I'm looking forward to printing with that. And then you have from Make Shaper a 85 Shore Hardness TPU. And this is some seriously flexible stuff. Holy crap. I mean, it's almost fluid in the way it's liquid like. It's flexible and stuff. That will be a challenge to print with, but it will be interesting. But there is your super flexible <laughs> TPU. That's pretty cool. So a couple other things I'm working on. I'm still working on the cat. I'm going to get that going. I'm going to hopefully attempt a live stream tomorrow. I have never done one before. I don't know exactly how I'm going to make it work. But the reason I printed this was in the hopes. I'm hoping I can load the chat on this and have it sitting here in front of me. Because the computer is behind me, so I can't look at the computer while I'm doing the stream. And I'm hoping I can have the chat running on this tablet so I can see what you guys are saying. And reply to you via what's seen on here. We'll see how well that works. But that's why I printed the little... Cannot a wave stand. It's got different positions. It's pretty cool. The only change I made to it was I made it taller. 
it looked too short to me to be a good pivot point for something this large so i made the whole thing a little taller and that's nice and sturdy i like that and we'll go from there and then also philobot sent me something interesting it's actually a cool color it's kind of like a um a greenish gray concrete color this is reprocessed pla now i don't know if that means chopped up and recycled pla or pla that's been through the process and didn't meet specs so they had to reprocess it but basically it's recycled pla and i was like that's cool it's an experimental filament so we are going to make some prints on that and try it out and see what it is i love their recycled abs spools filament that was great that stuff is fantastic so um Looking forward to trying this out. And I'm also playing with master spools. So this is a master spool printed with the same filament it's loaded with. And it came out fantastic. I, I love it. It's beautiful. Especially in this color. This is that autumn orange from um, 3D Fuel, I think it was. I think it was 3D Fuel. But pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, I can't think of anything else offhand. I'll have more prints for you soon. Tomorrow we are going to... At minimum, build two Ender 3s, and if time allows, maybe we'll build a Tron XY X1, because I also have the X2 coming. So that'll be interesting to look at. You guys have a great day. You take a look at MakerBox down below. It is now run by Printed Solid, which is a local USA company here in Delaware, actually. I live in Pennsylvania. They're in Delaware. Um, I like them. I, I like local people. I had no problem. They were friendly, professional. And it's pretty cool to see their place. But they are now, they now own MakerBox. So check out the link down below if you're interested in MakerBox. It's 20 bucks a month. And every month for $20, you get four samples of cool, new, interesting filaments to try out. Things you might never have seen. Things that might be too expensive for you to just buy on a lark without trying first. And here, 20 bucks a month, you get samples. But that's pretty cool. Usually comes with candy. I already ate it. <laughs> I think 10 seconds after the box is open, that candy was gone. I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> they include a little treat, a little tiny candy bag in the thing. Came with a magnet and some advertisements. Don't forget, East Coast Rep Rep forum coming up this June. So, check it out. You guys have a great day.